I'm a computer scientist, and Yakir's a mathematician. And the really fun thing about this project is that it brought people from such a wide variety of fields together. We worked with statisticians and computer scientists and systems biologists, and our hope is that this project becomes applicable across a wide variety of fields. We're living in the era of big data. And powerful approaches like genome sequencing are now faster and cheaper than ever. So it's like someone has turned on a spigot and data is flowing in every direction. And the challenge is how do we extract meaningful knowledge uh, from, you know, about biology and about medicine from all of this information? This to me is actually one of the big questions. We now have so much that we know in front of us just in, front of, in terms of the raw data. How do we make use of it? What do we do with it? Think about a mountain. Uh, think about a skyscrapers. Think about a solar system. These are vast, enormous things. Data is the same way. It can be daunting to explore. In one of the examples from our work, if you plotted every pair of variables on a different piece of paper and stacked them up, they'd rise to over six times the height of the Empire State Building. When we start talking about these scales, it becomes really hard for the human eye to do this type of analysis on its own. If you were given a large data set of, say, hundreds or thousands or even millions of variables, how would you go about finding all of the interesting relationships in that data set? It's an easy question to ask, but it actually turns out to be pretty difficult to answer. And the reason is that there's many different types of patterns in this data set. And though it's easy to try to find one specific type of pattern, it's much harder to develop a statistic that helps you look for all the patterns when you don't know what you're looking for ahead of time. That's why we created MINE, a computer program that allows us to explore data. We needed to test the program out on large data sets. I'm passionate about genomics and public health, so we chose some data sets from those fields. With MINE, we can look at years' worth of data from the World Health Organization. MINE can compare hundreds of different variables to give us a bird's eye view of the data, and when we do this, we see different clusters of variables beginning to emerge. For example, one cluster contains variables like maternal mortality, infant mortality, and healthy life expectancies. That cluster is related to another cluster of variables through variables like healthcare expenditure. And healthcare expenditure is in turn related to variables like income per capita, and income per capita is in turn related to environmental variables like CO2 emissions and energy usage. Independently, these income variables are also related to technology variables like internet users per capita. When we do this, we really start to get a sense of how different variables are related to each other without necessarily worrying about only finding specific types of patterns in our data. The thing I really like about the project is that it's so general. I mean, the idea is just to say, we don't really care what type of data you have, you know, what it looks like. We're just saying, if your data fits into this way of thinking, that you have these different dimensions, and you can look at each pair of dimensions, then you can run our tool. So one of the data sets we analyzed, we actually ended up looking at because the two of us grew up playing baseball. And at some point when we were in the midst of all this work, David came to me and said, Yakir, we have to look at baseball statistics because it's such a well-measured sport and who knows what we'll find in there. One of the questions that we thought would be particularly interesting would be to see what sorts of things are most strongly associated with player salary. Given the stakes, baseball is so well-documented. And so we're really curious to see what can be done in this realm with tools like mine. We're hoping MINE is helpful to lots of different groups and that others use it for problems they're passionate about. There's so much data out there that the possibilities are endless.